Hello guys. Welcome to another mind-blowing episode of Animal Farm Africa, and in today's video we will take a look at 7 amazing things you never knew about snails farming and also, major problems you will face if you want to start a snail farm. To build a successful snail farm and to even dream of producing snails, a few things must be understood about the billion dollar idea of snail farming. The first thing you're supposed to know is estivation. This is the period of inactivity in which the aperture of the shell is covered with white calcareous substance called epiphan. In simple English, this is when snails cover themselves or their shell opening with a thick mucus like dry slime. This condition is usually common during the hammertown period. And in this condition, snail can survive for months without food and water. You should also know that under normal or natural condition, snails can estivate for a whooping three good years without food. This characteristic could be responsible for their hardiness and that's why they are the livestock with the least mortality rate in terms of animal husbandry. For you to prevent excavation, as a beginner snail farmer, or for those that cannot afford installing a sprinkler system, watering the soil by any other means, both in the morning and at night and other management practices well observed could help prevent your snails from going into excavation. Guess you did not know that, am I right? Now 
Next you should know, is snails suffer from feed and water scarcity. Feed and water are always scarce during the dry season as a result of the harsh weather conditions. Fruits, vegetables and tuber are scarce during this period. The snails can be fed with soybean residue or maize chaff which is popularly called iri in Nigeria. All this can be gotten from people who process pulp for sale and household waste. Additionally, more effort should be concentrated on the use of compounded feed for feeding snails. This is readily available at any time or period of the year. Feed, water scarcity, and harsh weather conditions during dry season result in too low productivity. This is characterized by loss in weight and little production of snail eggs. They need enough protein supply to grow faster and bigger and to achieve this, you can feed them with animal blood and grounded bone meal from an abattoir close to you. Give them enough calcium and limestone which can be gotten from animal feed meal or feed store for them to produce sufficient eggs and if you can't give them loamy or sandy soil. The third thing of importance are the soldier ants, reptiles and rodents. The worst enemy or major constraint to snail production is soldier ants infestation. Soldier ants can be prevented depending on the type of housing system adopted. Water bath or small gutter should be dug round and water must be made available inside the water bath every time if the housing system in low or high fences pens. When using cage system, the stands of the cages should be put inside container containing water with used engine oil or kerosene and fumigate the exterior environment regularly with ants repellent chemical. Reptiles and rodents can be prevented by using wire netting with small holes such as mosquito net and door should be closed every time. You have to get rid of ants from inside the snail pen by cleaning the pen regularly to help you avoid undue or obscene decomposition. Number 4. Snail Type Identification There are three major types of snails in Nigeria, and these are said to be the largest in the world, the Akatina marginata, AM, the Akatina akatina, AA, and the Akatina fulica, AF. The AM species is peculiar to Nigeria alone and is usually the largest among all the snails on Earth. They can produce up to 40 eggs in a clutch and can produce such clutches approximately three to four times a year. It takes between 21 to 40 days for the eggs to hatch. The A species is the second largest and this is also found in Nigeria and other countries. This species can lay up to 500 eggs in a clutch, usually laying up to 5 clutches in a year. Their eggs takes 21 to 28 days to hatch. The AF is the third largest species and can lay up to 500 eggs in a clutch. They can produce up to five clutches in a year. As a livestock and snail farmer, you must be able to distinguish the difference between the three major types of snails. The AM is sturdy and fatter unlike the rest of the giant snails. The A has sharp ends and more walls than the AM and they have red tapered leads, while the AM species has white or yellow tapered leads with stud ends. These characteristics can be used to differentiate them.
The AF species has more walls than the AM and more than the AA and it has the sharpest ends and more conical or more cylindrical. Another thing you need to know is that besides for meat, snails are used to produce anti-aging agents. In the Asian countries such as China, Japan, Malaysia, Thailand, Korea, Singapore, Indonesia and Myanmar, snails are not only eaten as meal for its protein but used on the affected parts of the body and face to remove wrinkle, spots and stretch mark and to give you that desired young look again. As funny as the next information may sound, it's the truth. Snails with different opposite walls can never mate, they must be the same coiling directions to mate. Those with coiling or walls to the right are dextral and those with coiling to the left are sinistral. And lastly, ninety percent of the large snails exclusively and readily available in Nigeria are the Akatina marginata breed, which are believed to be the largest in the world. The type of breed employed for snail farming is very important according to your business strategy as each breed has its unique character such as size, growth rate and reproduction. Snails grow faster when there is darkness and enough feeds, fruits, calcium supplement, root crops and vegetables for them to produce high quality and quantity of eggs. Snail farming can be started with a low budget and for higher yield and productivity, a free range or extensive snail farming method should be encouraged which is the best method employed in Australia, Europe and in the USA. Hope you learned new things tonight for my aspiring snail farmers, subscribe to this channel to not miss out of our other exciting topics of all types of animal husbandry, documentary style.